John, how are you? Doing pretty well, thank you. You want to take us through your uh, prep routine? Okay, so my prep routine when I'm when I re arrive at the piano, mm -hmm. I'm going to cheat and do four. Okay. Um, I try to think about my posture because it needs to be thought about. Uh -huh. And where exactly? Um, I need. I'm trying to think about the rectangle of my shoulders down to the hips. The four and, corners. And bringing the spine and the head up like this. Uh huh. And as you're lifting your crown of your head, do you also feel your sit bones be able to relax more into the seat? Definitely. At the same time, because uh, opposition helps us to be more aware. Great. All right, mm -hmm. go on. And then it's breath, trying to get full breaths, Great. and then relaxation, both muscle and mind. Mm -hmm. And then the other one was that I'm going to add is, uh, I have an image, especially for this piece, mm -hmm. of um, Spain, mm -hmm. since that's where it comes from. So it's a, a kind of a landscape image. Fabulous. Who painted it? So actually, it was from a trip I had to Spain. Ah, yes. it's a personal memory. Yes, it Fantastic. is. Fantastic. And what are you playing? So this is um, Evocacion, which is the first of um, Albanus's Iberia Suite. Awesome. Thank you.
wonderful. So what was this experience like for you? I think there were times in the piece where I was really losing myself into it right. and just letting the music sing through me. Yeah. And then there were times where, um, like, you know, I, I didn't do a note the way I wanted to, and then the mind would start to chatter, uh -huh. and I would start to tense. Uh -huh. so, and how did you respond to that? So I just thought about breathing mm -hmm. and just physically thinking about the relaxation here. Mm -hmm. So That's fabulous. I felt like I got back on track. Right. And, and that's more important than we can't really prevent things from happening, but like knowing how you're going to respond and then practicing that just gives you that confidence that, you know, if it happens, it happens and it's no big deal. Yeah, that's great. So it's beautiful. I love watching you just kind of, you know, enjoy the piece. You're very close to this piece. Yeah. Definitely. And, uh, and when you get your uh, new Sujatri piano in a few weeks, mm -hmm. <laughs> you're going to have so much fun experimenting with the, the many levels of pianos. So this piece goes down to how many pianos? Five. And yeah, Five. it didn't come out because it's this part right here at the very end. <laughs> And it says absolutely subdued, five piece. Mm -hmm. And that's, yeah. I don't think I've ever achieved it. <laughs> well, I mean, okay, so let's find a way that you will be happy with that. Okay, let's, mm -hmm. let's figure it out. Yeah. And then we will go, we usually go to the climax of a piece and work there. But here we're going to what are the quietest places because that's the hardest thing to figure out. Okay, so... So play me what you have now, and then let's imagine what it is that you, you're hearing in your head. Okay, okay so, so one thing I'm observing is your body weight isn't exactly at rest. And when, the softer we go, the more body weight we need and the more connection with our, our physical relaxation. Because uh, think about it, like if you have something that's a lot more massive, it's easier to control and slow it down than if you have like something very, very small. So if you just think like you're, you're at the ocean and it's just like one little thing. Let me just see your left hand. And, and forget the bass note, let's just play the tenor line that you want to be 5P. Yeah, like right there, when you're shaking it, can you shake it a little bit more and just have it be very casual? Yeah, so, yeah. Can I try your fingering? So, you okay? Yeah. All right. So you're pedaling after, right? You're pedaling after the grace note? I was trying to pedal through all that, but it does get very, very blurry. Yeah, it's blurry. I, I would say after. Um, I think maybe you just reach by leaning over a little bit instead of... Well, the speed, you can't really control the speed with one, two, one, but, but that having that little bit of air infused into it, it might give it a little bit more subtlety. The other thing is, I don't think you're using the left pedal. You were? Okay. All right. So let's hear if the sound is different. So I think I got it a notch down by having more breath inside. And I was putting the bass note with the grace note, so, and you were not, you were putting it on the main note. So I was going, and you're going. Which allows me to clear the pedal. Right, and it's also more relaxed. Mm -hmm. so. And is your left foot down? Mm -hmm. So, do you think, even 
does mark pedaling, so he might actually have won at all of that. Well, I, I would put the grace note in front, probably, right. and then pedal on the beat. In, and try doing an airy, did it all, an airy texture instead of like a solid texture. That was quiet. That was very, very quiet. Okay, now add your right hand, but don't change anything. And I change the pedal now, well, with your hands on it. So, so add a pedal change. Let's see, you know, we'll play around with it. Okay, that, so changing the pedal was great because it cleared out everything, but it did make your left hand play very directly. And your left hand, I think, would still be kind of a gas. Definitely gas. Gas. Yeah. I can feel the tension. <laughs> uh huh. Wow. Great. How was your. Was yes. And That's what I wanted. Did you feel confident doing that? Uh huh. I did. Yeah. Okay. So remember that feeling of confidence. Right. And it was the breath, too. A very slow yep. breath that you were talking about. Right. Right. The slower you breath allows you to really um, feel the massiveness you have of your own presence, right, in order to slow it down. Also, by the way, if you're talking scientifically, um, our parasympathetic nervous system, this, the system that says it's okay to calm down, things are safe and we can relax and we don't have to be so vigilant, that system can be activated when we move really, really slowly. So if you guys, like, want to just try this, move your hand very, very slowly and see if you can start getting more awareness of what your body is doing. Like, where are you tense? You might be tense everywhere <laughs> where you can find, you know, one little thing. But see how slowly I'm moving? My hand is still moving. And as, as it's moving, I'm seeing how is it affecting my core? Like, is it affecting my center? And so when you're doing that slow breath, you're also activating your, your parasympathetic nervous system. I don't know why they created such a long name for this. <laughs> to be calm, you have to say so many syllables. But, um, but the last two notes in your bass, it's only three Ps, so it's so much easier. But let's give it a try with that slow breath and calm yourself down so it's just a gas. This is not a real tangible thing. So, so I would say approach it slower. Ooh. That sounds like four beats. <laughs> so, okay, change it. It's very control. Yes, so, so the three P's we got the five piece we got, the four piece in between we also got. Now let's translate that scale to the previous four piece. Um, let's see, was it around here? Let me think. Oh, actually, I was gonna say, this is the first time that the four piece come up, right? Let's see how that translates. Now we got our, our piece all lined up. I was trying to say the left pedal for maybe one of these, but maybe I shouldn't then. I think it's important. These match almost everything. Right, if the composer had these things in, in his mind of how to proportion it, um, I think we should honor that as much as we can. So yeah, let's keep the, the una corda down for all the four Ps. So I'm not sensing a, a prep breath I'm not sensing like a uh, body weight, I'm just sensing restriction.
Okay, so love that. I love that dynamic. It's beautiful. Do you like the dynamic? Okay. You have some room within that to go in and out and in and out of the four P's. You can fill up the phrase, right? Yeah, and, and I think, so the difference between feeling static and feeling the flow is that y it's, it's your imagination. That's the difference. <laughs> can you imagine each note to spin forward slowly. And so, da, 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 da. We were at the opera last night. It was really fun. And so, like, all the singers, are they, they have this natural ability to spin each note so that there is never a note that's just sitting there. And so, it's for pianists, we just have to be imagining everything that we do. And then, hopefully, the audience can sense that and they can imagine with us. Just the, just the top melody. Okay, relax here. Yes, right. So can you do that spinning without using your traps at all? Can I, do you mind if I tap? Oh, no. Okay, so keeping this relaxed, go ahead. Breathe, let this, let this go. Right, do you see how you're using this? Yeah, going like this and this. Yeah, so that actually takes the focus away from your fingertips, so we want to give it back to the fingertips. Yes, good, now let's extend that with your eyesight, because I know that you memorize this piece, so, so take a look up there on the ceiling, pretend like you can see right through there's a skylight that nobody else sees, and extend out there. So look up through the skylight. Think how far it goes. Yes. Did you see Spain? I saw blue sky. Okay. <laughs> let's. Which is Spain too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's make that a blue sky over your Spanish memory. Okay. Oh, how pretty, yeah. So what I got out of that one was there was a little bit of enjoyment. And that's what our mental, our emotional tags do for us is they, they create that moment of enjoyment right when we need it. Uh, and it shouldn't take any time to conjure that up because we've been practicing with that idea. And so it just comes immediately when we hit that spot. Okay, now let's add the rest of the notes in there. But don't change anything, it's beautiful. Am I holding tension in my thumbs because they're not sounding? Something's yeah, I would say, yeah, I would say, you know, start when you're troubleshooting, start with just your feeling your breath. Are you tight right now in, in like your heart area? Do you feel like you have ease in your center? Pretty good there. It's up here, I think. Okay, great. So it's, it's, it's oftentimes not our thumb or the local things. It sometimes can be, but if you can diagnose here and then let your thumb move very, very, very slowly and see can you let go of any tension? Is there any tension? Do you feel any difference? And compare left and right? Okay. Now, see, if you, if you relax your thumb first, but you were tight up here or up here, then you wouldn't be able to do very much with it. So if you can relax up here this, in the core and then do this, it's much more effective. It worked. <laughs> yeah. Good, okay, good. Now this time, forget everything we worked on, and I just want you to like focus on this scene in Spain and be as specific as possible. Maybe there's a bird, maybe there's a particular tree, maybe there's a castle, I love castles. <laughs> so uh, whatever it is, focus on the enjoyment part of it. Yeah, 
Are you totally there? Is it real to you? Okay, let's try it again. Okay, good, good, that's so good. That's, that's like enough, I'm like, I'm satisfied. <laughs> you don't even have to end the piece, I'm like very satisfied. How about you, did you feel that? Okay, gorgeous, that's gorgeous. So I love that you started peek, peeking a little bit outside of the four piano zone and you just changed the color a little bit. And we always wanna be able to do that. So. Um, this is like, you know, there's four phrases. Each phrase should have a little bit of color of its own. And what you did was great because you didn't let the four Ps confine you. That's just the starting place. Um, when you get to the peak, I think there should be some sort of a sunlight that comes out from behind the clouds and the, the energy can change a little bit. Let's try going into it. Now warm it up. Okay, so yeah, yeah, that's good. You know, the first note was wonderful. The second note, the long note, bom, bom, that's the place to, to spin, yeah? So he's, he's lingering on that note for a reason. And the left hand... Um, yeah. Trying to lean into that one. So I you can do both. Yeah, do both. Do everything. Yeah. And the left hand. Da -da -ba -da. So you imagine that you had a big, like a bow that never ends. And it just, we were talking about, Masumi was talking about doing one bow and letting it last 60 seconds, right? So imagine that you had a bow that was a mile long. And you could just do whatever you wanted because you got plenty of time. So, so what I need to hear is that C. Okay, now give me more B flat. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it's easy to underestimate how much the accompaniment controls the volume, the dynamics. And your left hand actually can do a lot more color differentiation to help out with that. Yeah, beautiful, great colors. Yeah, bravo.